Hi, I'm David Beeler, former Dallas Cowboy kicker. We're going to take you through a step-by-step -step process of how to assemble your Core Extreme Afterburner. Setting up your Core Extreme Afterburner is made even easier by the following steps in this video. Upon receiving your Core Extreme Afterburner, go ahead and open the box and set everything aside. Everything you need is already in the box, even the tools. Once everything is out of its packaging, go ahead and lay the contents out so it's easy to grab. First step is assembling the foot guide. Grab a foot guide, two Core Extreme patented quick connects, four 30mm hex screws, and the provided black Allen wrench. Use the Allen wrench and the screws to attach the quick connect to the foot guide. Screw both ends on the front side of the foot track. Make sure the openings for the resistance bands that we'll insert later in the quick connect are facing upward. Grab another quick connect and screw both ends on the back side of the foot guide. Continue with this process with the other foot guide. Next step is the hand guide. Putting this together is just the same as the foot guide. Use the black Allen wrench and the 30 mm screws to connect the quick connect to the hand guide. Screw both ends on the front side of the hand guide. Grab another quick connect and screw both ends on the back side of the hand guide. Continue with this process with the other hand guide. Now for the track footers, the pieces with the Core Extreme logo displayed on them. Use the same black Allen wrench and the 30 mm screws to connect the quick connect. Screw both ends. Again, make sure the openings for the bands on the quick connect are facing upward. Continue this process with the other three track footers. Once the two foot guides, the two hand guides, and four track footers are assembled with the quick connects, set them aside. Next, grab the seat pad. Connect the quick connect to the threaded inserts on the side of the seat using the 30 mm screws and the black Allen wrench. Continue with attaching the quick connect to all threaded inserts on the seat. Take the provided ringed aluminum pins and lock in all the track guides. Now take an aluminum track and slide it into the track guide. Slide it all the way through until you hear it lock in. Use the provided brown Allen wrench and 15 mm screws and gently screw in the aluminum track to the track guide on the seat. Continue this process with the other three aluminum tracks. Now grab your foot guide and slide those onto the aluminum tracks. Make sure the slanted side of the foot guide are facing toward the seat pad. On the other end, slide both hand guides on the other two aluminum tracks. Attach the track footers on all four aluminum tracks using the brown Allen wrench and the 15 mm screws. Take the adjustable hand grips and simply attach them to the side of the seat pad using the aluminum pins. You can position these however you see fit and whatever is ideal for your particular workout. Now for the resistance bands. For general setup in this video, we're going to give you the standard way to set up your band resistance on the afterburner. Of course, every band combination is customizable to whatever you desire with your workout. Go to coreextreme.com to find more information on the resistance bands. On the foot guide, Start with dropping in two red bands to the outer openings of the quick connect and attach to the seat pad quick connect. Make sure to stretch the bands to easily drop into the openings. Drop in two gray bands to the quick connect outer opening behind the foot guide to the quick connect on the track footer. Use your foot for support behind the track footer to make the band easier to pull as shown. Continue this process with the other foot guide using the same combination of bands. On the hand guide, drop in two green bands to the inner openings of the quick connect and red bands to the outer openings of the quick connect. Then attach the seat pad quick connect. Continue this process with the other hand guide. Just as you did with the foot guide, drop in gray bands to the outer openings of the hand guide to the track footer. Attach the two foot support pieces to the foot guide by using two 15 mm screws and the black Allen wrench. Lastly, in the opening behind the foot support, slide in the foot straps and wrap them around. Your afterburner is now ready to use. Remember, your afterburner is completely customizable to your particular workout. For questions, workout suggestions, pro upgrades, service, warranty, and everything you need to know for your afterburner, visit coreextreme.com and click on Afterburner or call customer service directly at 469-334-4700.